backlash this morning over President Trump revoking the security clearance of former CIA director John Brennan, who hasn't committed a crime, but has been one of the president's fierce critics. And Michael, as you know, there are many calling this an abuse of power this morning, but the White House is now doubling down. They even put out a list of others to put all those faces right there, all of them on notice, saying they could be next. So let's get to our senior national correspondent, Terry Moran, who starts us off in Washington with the very latest. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, David. Another line crossed here. It's not unprecedented for a former CIA director to have his security clearance revoked. It happened before for mishandling classified information. What's unheard of here is John Brennan committed no crime. And President Trump, in his interview with the, Washington, with the Wall Street Journal, made clear this is about the people, as he put it, who led the Russia investigation, which he calls a witch hunt. This morning, the president's critics are calling it his enemies list. James Clapper, James Comey. Officials Michael who have publicly Sally criticized Gates, President Trump Susan now Rice, being targeted. Overnight, the president telling the Wall Street Journal, I don't trust many of those people on that list. I think that they're very duplicitous. I think they're not good people. The White House just messaged the entire American intelligence community. If you stand up and say things that upset the president, or with which he disagrees, he will punish you. The president has taken the unprecedented step of revoking the security clearance of one of his fiercest critics, former CIA director John Brennan, and he's reviewing security clearances for nine other current and former officials. I've seen this type of behavior and actions on the part of foreign tyrants. I never, ever thought that I would see it here in the United States. As the head of the CIA under President Obama, Brennan presented evidence of Russian interference to President-elect Trump. The president lashing out to the Wall Street Journal, I call it the rigged witch hunt. It is a sham, and these people led it, adding, so I think it's something that had to be done. The White House insists this is not about settling scores or trying to silence the career intelligence official who served under both Republicans and Democrats. Instead, they cite erratic behavior and wild outbursts on the Internet. Mr. Brennan's line in recent conduct characterized by increasingly frenzied commentary is wholly inconsistent with access to the nation's most closely held secrets. Since leaving government, Brennan has broken with an old tradition that former senior security officials should steer clear of politics, hurling harsh criticisms of Trump, calling the summit with Russian President Putin treason. And earlier this week, tweeting, seems like you will never understand what it means to be president, nor what it takes to be a good, decent, and honest person so disheartening, so dangerous for our nation. Nearly 4.1 million Americans have security clearances, including 1.3 million with top secret clearances. Former officials keep those clearances so they can be called back into service in times of crisis and provide guidance and expertise. If uh, security clearances are now going to become a political tool in the hands of individuals such as Mr. Trump, that I think will send a very, very chilling message to individuals uh, in the government. So let's get back to Terry Moran live at the White House on this, because, Terry, when Sarah Sanders walked into the White House briefing room, she made it very clear that this was a statement from the president. Very rare for her to say that. And not only that, we took note that the statement was dated July 26th, which is actually three weeks ago. So it would appear this had been prepared. They were waiting for the right moment. They were, David. I was in the briefing room when Sarah Sanders revealed that the White House was considering this move. It's been cooking for a while. Uh, the president looking for an opportune moment to strike. Uh, he said he didn't do it last week. He told the Wall Street Journal because it was too hectic when he was on vacation uh, in New Jersey. David? Waiting for the right moment on it. All right, Terry Moran live at the White House. Thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.